Yeah, well, it's at Liberty University, which is the only college in the country I put my name behind, which says something, because I probably travel to more college campuses than almost anyone in kind of the conservative uh, circuit or the conservative movement. Liberty's amazing, and Jerry became a dear friend in the last couple of years, and we kind of agreed that Christians need to be more vocal, especially in times like this. My goodness, was our original thesis proven true that Christians need to understand the link between first principles and the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that we need to be vocal in the public square, informed, and really fight for what is right and what is true in the world. And so God bless Jerry Falwell and Liberty for making this incredible center happen, the Falkirk Center for Faith and Liberty. Uh, we're a here. Think, a think tank? Is yeah, well, it's more like, it's a battle tank in some ways. You know, it's think tank, battle tank. It's, it's trying to activate Christians in the social media sphere, in the digital sphere, to explain to Christians that might be a little confused what are the first principles of our country, freedom of speech, freedom of association, uh, the ability to protect yourself, privacy rights, and what does that have to do with the gospel of Jesus Christ? And we actually make the connection that these come from the greatest book, most important book ever to so, exist, so me, the Holy Bible. Let me take you there, okay? Sure. So we're seeing a lot of protests going on around the country. I have to assume in, in Jesus' day as he was walking around, it would feel somewhat similar to what's going on. It's different, though. Well, I mean, look, the, the, I, think, I think it's different. I mean, I think that people have always been vocal. Um, and look, I am a huge supporter of people being able to speak their mind. What I have no tolerance for is using your position of strength to damage the weak. When you go after someone's business, when you go after somebody's private property, I think that is immoral and wrong. And even beyond that, when you see Christian pastors that I think wrongly tried to put their name behind this movement, that's where we say that that's a no-go zone, and we actually try to explain exactly why. Tell us where the link or the cross, uh, the crossroads between Christianity and conservatism happens. Well, first of all, you know, being a conservative, you want to preserve Western civilization and preserve this amazing gift that we've been given in the United States of America. But we have to understand who founded America and the ideas that they really founded this country on. And that was taken directly from the, from the Bible, the liberation of the individual. It says very simply in the Bible, it's actually all throughout the campus of Liberty University, where the Spirit of the Lord is president, uh, present, you have liberty. This idea of you as an individual matter, it's not a matter of where you come from, your skin color, you're actually uh, all made in the image of God is something that built Western society. And we talk about this at the Falkirk Center for Faith and Liberty. So the argument that we make is that we have to understand our history as a Judeo-Christian country. And I think we've gotten away from that in the last couple of years. Is, is, do, do conservatives own the biblical way more than non-conservatives? I don't want to I don't want to be as bold to say that, but I think that conservatives need to re-embrace the ideas of Western society and of the Bible. And that also means acting with compassion and love and connectedness, but also there's a misrepresentation at times that we have to be tolerant of all things. I am not tolerant of people exploiting the weak. I am not. Especially when people have, in the last couple of weeks uh, in our country, gone, o gone around and burned down businesses of minority-owned uh, entrepreneurs or gone all across our country to misrepresent this incredible country that we've been given. So we talk about all of this at the Falkirk Center for Faith and Liberty. And very quickly, this event, just tell us a couple of big headlining names besides yourself and Jerry Fall. Is Jerry Fall going to be here? Uh, Jerry is not, but we have Congressman Dave Bratt, obviously, who's helping host this. Uh, several members of Congress. Um, Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz, okay. yes, exactly. Sebastian Gorka and many others that are here and some other names as well that I think are going to be piping in digitally. Um, but I'll tell you, this is a pretty big unveiling considering you know the time that we live in in the midst of this pandemic and these lockdowns. And so we're really proud of the kind of rollout that we've had. Here. I'm hearing buzzers. I think they need you on stage. Charlie Kirk, thank you very much Thanks, for your Eric. time. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate it.